year what's up y'all it's your boy i'm back uh i'm here to talk to you guys about mama mentality badge as well as some of the new perks inside of nba 2k22 next gen now a lot of people have been hitting me up about yo how you be getting these perks how do you equip them where did you get them how did you come about finding them you know so many people are lost in nba 2k22 next gen because so many people are watching people on current gen so for all those people that are thinking about coming over to the next gen i want to give you guys a few reasons why and we'll go over that in this video let's get into it King Kong. King Kong. King Kong. So where I am posted up currently is Brickley's gym. Um, this is Chris Brickley. He's been doing a lot of things with 2K. If you remember him, you had to go through him a few years back in order to get a custom jump shot. Of course, 2K has realized their wrongs in that and gave us the jump shot creator straight out, which is always great. But what they've actually done was give us a few more things inside of Brickley's gym. So let's go ahead and go inside of Brickley's gym real quick. And uh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a movie. <laughs> Now, what you can do is you can come inside this facility. You know, see, every week there will be a set of two drills for you to play. You're allowed to play the set once per day. Each drill will give you four times badge points multiplier upon completion. Now, show Brickley what you've got and, and take your game to the next level. Now, I won't talk to him just yet. What I want to tell you guys about is how he has certain people here playing all the time. Now, what I ended up doing was I ended up doing this Mama Mentality badge before I got out of the G League. So let me go ahead and show you guys the quest. Now, of course, I got to come down and complete it. And let me go. Where is it at? Let me see. I think it. there we go. So Mama Mentality badge. Win your fourth game at Brickley's Gym to earn Mama Mentality. You get the extender perk, the juice perk, stay warm perk, accelerator perk, and Mama Mentality. Now, of course, everybody knows Mama Mentality allows you to change your takeover whenever you want. But um, let me tell you guys about the games. So when I first came in, I played against a couple randoms. Then I played against a couple of the my player guys. Then I played up against like some low level NBA guys. And then I played against some uh, potential MVP candidates in the NBA. Now, um, the thing that you want to do in order to win these games, if you're a guard, a shooting guard, I'm sorry, point guard, shooting guard, small forward, or power forward that can shoot. All you got to do is when you're coming down court, tap L1 for the smart play and then let the play play out. And most of the time, you're going to get a play to get you open for three if you're having trouble winning. I, 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 I can't stress this enough. Yes, 2K computer defense is a little godly this year, but that's how we wanted it because you can't score on that many people in the park that well unless you're getting shifty and, ch and you know, changing speeds and left writing and stuff like that. But when it comes to the CPU, they own all that. So you actually have to just run some plays. All right, so quick pro tip. Um, do not try to change your my player stuff inside of the Chris Brickley gym because it doesn't work. The my player menu doesn't pop up. Um, the progression menu doesn't pop up. Nothing pops up in there, but let's talk about the takeovers, right? So, uh, like I said, when you get mama mentality, you can change your badge to anything that you want. And, um, these are the badge upgrades that I have available. Yes. I'm a lock for sure. Plus I'm a glass cleaner and a shooter. All right. But let's talk about these perks, right? So me and my homies, we all use accelerator, um, mainly because it allows us to get our double take faster as well as a possibility to get team takeover at the park okay the next thing that we do is we use stay warm um we also use juice we also use extender and sponge and all these other ones we haven't gotten yet but as far as stay warm goes it says takeover meters won't drain as quickly when performing poorly so for those people that think when they get their takeover they're going to take these weird crazy shots you can go ahead and throw that on juice it says it gives you an extra boost in your attributes when takeover is activated this is something that may be uh, a, a slashing playmaker, like a two-way slashing playmaker might use in order to make more threes or something like that. Extender. This was what I had on for the longest. It actually extends the length of time that your takeover takes. But for a player like me, that's not the primary ball handler. Whenever I did get my takeover, it took a long time to get it. So if we're playing park, I might get my takeover and, and it's 17 or 10. 
and it's only four more points to win the game. So I didn't really like it. Now, all these other perks, of course, you'll be able to get in other challenges. And we'll talk about those when I do actually complete these challenges because it tells you what you need to complete. All right. So I'll be getting those real soon. And of course, um, like I said, man, the mama mentality is something huge. Now, as far as getting into Chris Brickley's gym before your NBA draft, I'm just a quick tip before I um, get out of here. Make sure that you choose everything. OK, make sure that you choose to do everything. All right. I want to thank you guys for watching this video, man. Make sure you guys hit this like button if you actually made it all the way to the end. Um, I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Like I said, this little quick series is going to get, you know, done. Um, and as I unlock things within the city, I will let you guys know all about it. OK, if you guys have any comments, any questions, please leave them below and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.